Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Bones and Brews. So today we are going to make a teriyaki beef jerky. And it's going to be at least a 24 hour process just to get it prepared. And then I'm gonna put it in my dehydrator and let it go from there. So we're gonna start with, I've already started slicing off some flank steak that I purchased. I actually got about two and a half pounds of flank steak at my local Costco. And what I like to do is I actually put it in the freezer for about a half an hour, get a little cold, a little chill to it. It makes it much easier to slice. So I've cut it and I'm cutting it against the grain and just so that uh, I cut those slices and, um, and nice and thin so I can put it in a bag with the marinade. So I've already started slicing it, but before we get finished up with the slicing, let's go ahead and make the marinade for this beef jerky. So we're gonna start with, I've got a cup of soy sauce. And I've got a quarter cup of dark brown sugar. And if all you have at home is a light brown sugar, it will work just as well, no worries. All right. And then I've got myself a little rice vinegar that I'm gonna throw in there. And I've sliced up a little bit of fresh ginger, as well as some fresh garlic that's sliced up as well. And a just a little bit here, this, I think this is about a tablespoon of sesame oil. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to my teriyaki beef jerky. So I've got some fresh ground cayenne pepper. This is fresh from, my, from the summer from my garden that I ground up dehydrated. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. That's about a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna also add about a tablespoon of honey, give a little sweetness to it. I'm gonna mix that up. All right, I'll mix that up and I will be able to then start adding my flank steak that I've already been slicing up. Got myself a really Big old Ziploc bag here, that's all you need. If you wanna use a big bowl at home with a lid, that'll work just as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my marinade. All right, and then what I'll be able to do is I'm gonna finish slicing up my flank steak here, get it in the bag, Get it closed up nice and tight, and I'm gonna throw it in the refrigerator and just let it marinate from anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. And then we're gonna pull it out and uh, get it prepared for the dehydrator. All right, so we've had a little over 24 hours for our flank steak to marinate in the mixture we made just yesterday. So now we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna start drying it out a little bit using some paper towels just to kind of pat it dry. And I'm going to use my Magic Mill dehydrator here to throw it in here. It should take five plus hours to dehydrate the beef jerky. You really want to use the instructions that come with your dehydrator that you have. If you don't have a dehydrator at home, check out the description of this episode. I'll leave a link for this one here. This has been my favorite and I use it all the time. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start pulling out some of the flank steaks. And I'm gonna simply just drop it down on this paper towel that I've got going here and kind of pat it dry. Get some of that moisture off of there. Plus, because I use those chunks of the garlic and the ginger and so forth, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna put those in a dehydrator. So I'm gonna make sure I separate that just a little bit. And with my dehydrator, it has a lot of racks, just like this here. So all I'm doing is simply, I'm going to lay them on the racks. And kind of and you don't have to spread it out too far. You can leave just barely, just a little bit of space in between and fill each rack. And that's what I'm gonna do here with, the, with this flank steak. And then I'll keep doing that with all of the steak here in my bag that I have here going. And for this dehydrator, it tells me to set the temperature at 158. So I'll go ahead and make sure that's set there. The temperature 158. I'm going to go ahead and preset it based on the instructions. It tells me at five hours, so I'm going to hit the timer button, and I can move that down to five hours. 
and then I can slide the, the beef in, jerky into there and let it go from there. If I need to come back later and add another hour or two, I can do so and just kind of taste test, test it through the process. So I'm going to finish bet, taking this out of the bag, putting in all the racks, throwing it in the dehydrator, and then I'm going to let it go and we'll come back and check it later. All right, so after using the instruction manual that came with this dehydrator, I had it set for five hours. Because I cut the flank steak just a little thicker than usual, I put an extra hour in there, which I think is gonna be perfect. So let's open it up and see what it tastes like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of this. Mmm. That's really good. It's not too stringy on the inside, nice and soft on the inside. Really great texture on the outside, but not overcooked, not overdone. You don't have to yank it with your teeth. That's really good. And definitely can taste the flavors we use between that soy sauce and that garlic and just everything's kind of coming together. It's really, really good. So, like every episode of Bones and Brews, we're going to have to finish this one off with a beer. And as we film this one today, it's the end of 2020. I thought this was a great beer for this episode. This is from Center Ice Brewing in downtown St. Louis. It's called Fast Forward. It's a Belgium-style IPA. I like the little slogan at the bottom. It says, let's just skip ahead. And I think we're all ready to do that. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. If you're in the St. Louis area, check out Steve and the crew down at Center Ice Brewing. They do some great stuff. So like every episode, like us, share us, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again on Bones and Bruce.